Hello, welcome back. I know it's been forever since I've uploaded a new video. Wanted to make this quick tutorial for a web browser version of Discord. Uh, this does not include the vanilla client that you may install uh, normally. So we're just going to go through it real quick. This is for installing simple Discord crypt using the web browser. I am currently using Brave, which is based off of Chromium. Any Chromium based browser that supports extensions should be okay. Um, you can also use uh, Firefox. There has been reported bugs with this, however, uh, at least the strategy I'm about to use. Uh, so we'll, we'll just dive right in and see what happens. Uh, let's get started. So first off, we'll want to head over here, gitlab.com slash an0 slash simple discord crypt. You'll get this page and we'll want to go ahead and we will go ahead and install the Tampa Monkey plugin. Go ahead and add it to Brave. Add extension and there we go so now that that's installed it'll give us the same thing whatever and we will want the user script as well just hit install on that and that should be good to go so as you can see here we have an encrypted message it looks like just a bunch of braille and we will refresh Now, it's giving us a message to Creative Database. For video reasons, I will use just the password. password. Uh, I recommend using a very secure password because these are your keys that you will use to encrypt your messages. Created. And we will initiate a key exchange with my profile. You can see it sees there's an encrypted message there, but it is not, or it doesn't have the key yet. So we will approve that, and there you go. So you can see that each message will be encrypted as it has the ENC right here, the little emote. Uh, you can also use ENC at the beginning of your messages to specify to encrypt this, or you can also use this right here to send out all your new messages as encrypted. If you want a decrypted message or you want to force decryption, use no ENC all caps um, in order to do that so now that this is configured as you can see we also have personal key we can go into key manager we have different ones here and we can do channel management there's all sorts of different fun things you can do and for the web browser every time you will reload it will want you to input your password once again as you can see so put it in again so now that we have that installed we can encrypt we can decrypt we can have messages with our friends and in the end as a normal user a normal user will not see any messages as it appears as an embed from you like this so voila your messages are now encrypted with discord and just to clarify, well, this is a client mod. <clears throat> Discord doesn't actively enforce it, to my knowledge, as long as you aren't harassing people or abusing the API. Uh, use this sparingly with people you know you can trust. Obviously, don't share your keys out with everyone. Uh, you can specify where, or um, for example, don't allow direct messages with server members because that is how the key exchange happens. As you can see here with me, this is everything it's trying to do in the background. I didn't send this at all. This is simply two clients using the same plugin trying to exchange the keys. If you turn off privacy or uh, messages being sent from other server members, you will prevent this from happening and you will have to be friends with that person or uh, send key exchanges. Uh, it's a good way to hide your messages from other members in the server as well. Uh, I do not recommend using this to try and avoid rules because um, they can just ban you. It's, you know, it's their server kind of thing. So we will jump right into another video here shortly about how to install this to a vanilla client. Thank you.